Hello, it's Gogan Voice Explains. Welcome back. Um, purpose of today's video is um, another test of the Fire Dragon Fire Starter fuel cell bit thing for a Crusadery type cup cooking system. Um, now, I've had uh, another chat with Jasper, and one thing that came to light was that the tin foil carton that I struggled with getting open at the moment this is a pre-production sort of pack and there is scope in the future for when this actually goes into mega production it'll be a lot easier to open um, so at the moment these are sort of suck it and see things but they made sure that it was at least sealed correctly so it wouldn't gush all the stuff everywhere uh, so that was one um, sort of thing that came to light. Um, the other thing is, at the moment, there should be a dedicated burner unit along the lines of a Crusader type cooking system. It looks very similar, but is in one way is different. There's more of a heat exchanger, sort of a, a shield with holes in to allow it to burn and heat to stay in and air to get in or whatever. So. Anything that I do must be, you know, understood that when you actually get the fire dragon cell and the fire dragon burner, that it should be designed to work quite efficiently with itself. But what I f was reading up on was the times for a hexi block was said to be like eight minutes to boil the water, whereas the same sort of thing with this apparently was five. Now you can imagine, yes, it's got to be quicker because it flares up a lot easier so what I, I've come to do okay is use something that's alien to both but the same so what I'm gonna use is my Swiss Army type cooker Swiss Army not Swedish okay uh, because it does have a bit of a well at the bottom so you can imagine that there could cope with the liquid of this as it oozes out and flares up so it should stay confined I can get the same amount of liquid in it or go to the, the lip there with a little cup this bottle of water will be used for both things so it's not like the water be hot or cold depending on it they, each tablet gets the same same thing um, I can time it on the seconds I've got a second hand on here and um, so I'm not gonna let it run I'll fast forward it so it each burn you'll just see the clock thing going around and, and as soon as it boils that'll be the time that it's I stop it um, when it comes to fire starting I thought one thing with this preliminary thing is you just rip the top open and burn it in the bloody capsule and let that burn alongside it because you only have to take it home anyway so that was you know, another thing in its favor that you literally had to open the top up and just spark it or put a match to it so the test the burn test is the main thing but I've also left them an email you know I use this it's clever it's dual purpose it polishes it make mirror at the bottom and you get the tin. My email to Fire Dragon was There's a box. Okay. Now I know a box is cheap. I guess fine. But once you finish with it, what can you do with it? What if? Just what if? Fire Dragon tablets. Him in the hinge tin. In the hinge tin. That means you take the five out, you leave the one in there, you burn it in there. When you finished your altoids, you get an altoids tin. 
when you finish your fire dragon, you get a fire dragon tin. See if they're up for that. We'll see. I've tried uh, copying and pasting the the text of it, so I can share with you how I did it, but it just it just wouldn't want my computer just couldn't cope with it. Literally couldn't cope with text. I know. So, on with the test. I'll fill this up, and we'll get to each burn in time. So, hexi-block first, and then fire dragon. See you in a bit. Okay, so... Is this a cup of coffee? Oh, look at the timing. Cup of coffee. I didn't forget. I didn't That's alright, pop it. Thank you, Jackie. Nice hot cup of cha. There we go. Right, so. There's a hexi block. Now, straight away, you can see that the volume of the hexi block is a lot more than that. So let's even it up and put another sort of lump. That to me is about the same volume as that. Plus, don't forget, there's six of these for £2.50. Six for £2.50. You buy the whole block for about a pound. So it's far cheaper for the hexi block. So let's get everything else flammable away. Here comes the bottle, the Swiss Army bottle. And just as it's over the lip. There's the bottle. There's the cork. And we've done ferro rods, so what I'm going to do is a match. And it's quite awkward in there, but that was a wet night in Dartmoor. And as the time comes, it's coming up to there. Yeah, Two forty six. Okay, as it's coming up for five minutes, it's just starting to boil, but isn't quite a rolling boil yet. Okay, five and a half minutes, I'm starting to hear it. Five and a half minutes. I can hear it. I'd say that's five and a half minutes. Uh, 
That's boiling. Yeah. Just gone six minutes. And nearly burn out, we'll let it burn. Quite a successful little experiment as it were. I mean obviously the Swiss stove, this thing here, can be used for small twigs or S bits or hexamin tabs. And it does burn great. I mean the actual air being drawn in from the holes here, you can see it flaring in the insides. Coming up for seven minutes and it's nearly burnt out. There's quite a, a nice gentle rolling boil. So five and a half minutes it got there and it's still got enough in it for a to continue boiling and simmering down. Obviously if you wanted to <coughs> not boil your water to oblivion for purification but if you wanted to just simmer your soup down a little bit and thicken it up a hexi block does last longer. This is coming up for 8 minutes and he's just about to die. Just about. And gone. So I'll just puff that last bit about. Right? <laughs> so five and a half minutes to achieve a boil. Blur. Excuse me. Five and a half minutes to achieve a boil, and then continue to last another two and a half minutes so let's get all this cool again to make it fair for the fire okay. drain it's coming up to um, 257 when the second hand comes up so here comes the same flask of water that I had we should be approximately same temperature and I just had it so it's just over the lip on the right hand side there so same amount of water there we go so I've got a minute and 45 seconds to get this set up can I use to open it with <laughs> I can't say that is it is a monstrosity to get out. Here I am looking around. I've got a minute to get it in there. Let's use this piece of titanium. And it's in. Well, most of it's in. If it's awkward, that comes out on camera as well. And here we go for 25 seconds. And I really don't want this on my fingers. <laughs> and five, four, three, Two, one.
Well, there's no doubt at all that that would go up with a match. So here we go. Is it going to turn my desk into a frothing mass? This is a nice gentle burn. Or do flames come out of the top? Well, ouch. So what if you want to hang on to the handle? One minute. Holy crap! Minute and a half. Hmm. Well, you learn things by experimenting. I thought that would have been reasonable, but I'm guessing 70% of the flame is whizzing straight past the cup. And now you just about gauge the volume that the bottom tray there would hold as it disappeared everywhere. So when this dedicated burner comes out, holy shit, the heat. I can feel that from here. So, Swiss Army stove, maybe not a good idea. And it's gone. Now, did it funky and I mentioned, but would it get a boil? No, it hasn't. It's burnt out in like two or three minutes. So, still unable to test it in terms of boiling water. Hmm. So, we go. I know it's not the right stove, but what me and Funky worked out was if that thing burns in four and a half minutes, how are you going to get a boil? So we're still waiting on this dedicated stove cooking system. As a fire starter, it's pretty damn good. But what I need to always keep in mind is Fire Dragon is £3 for six. There's a lot of that in there for £2.50. There's a lot of that in there for a quid a shot. So it obviously needs to deliver its advantages over other ways of lighting a fire and cooking your thing in such a way as to, it's got a place in the market but at the moment hexi blocks you get more hexi blocks sit there with the flame like yay big all the flames going into the Swiss Army cup I'm imagining in my head the Crusader system that's there. The fire dragons, you, you got like Steve McQueen Tower and Inferno going on. And it's just all off. As a fire starter, it's great.
As soon as this thing arrives, and I can get all the one, it's going to be very interesting to see if it actually achieves the boil by boiling faster and quicker and in less time. But it's just burn a candle at both ends, sort of theory, and all the energy's gone. And unless you can harness that, I don't see how you're going to deliver. Just understand, if you have a litre of water, you could put four or five candles underneath. And if you contain it, and those candles are burned for an hour, five of them burning, in my mind I can see that that could gradually achieve a boil. Okay? If you get a, f a flame thing and deliver just as much energy in ten seconds, you ain't going to boil the water. You're not going to boil the water because it'll just... See what I mean? It's not direct enough at the base of the cup to heat the bottom of the water to allow a convection current to go around and, and disperse the heat amongst the, all the molecules and the container. If you blast heat right up through, the air is heating up above it, but it's just too ferocious. It's passing the, the mass that you're trying to heat up before it's actually delivered its energy to it. We'll see. But as for now, Fire Dragon, impressive as a fire lighter, but it needs to come out with this dedicated cooking system in order to prove that it has a place. Because at the moment, it's a fire starter that's cheaper when you get a tin, and there's a cooking block that's far cheaper and achieves a boil because it doesn't burn ferociously the only advantage I can pick up is the fact that it says you can clean your hands with it it's like a soap it's like an antibacterial thing or well, all I did was sting like crazy and it's greener lightweight and waterproof environmentally friendly fast boil time clean burn yeah but so fast. So fast. Blocks liquefy when lit. Mm. We'll see. Scott signing off. With me little test. So next one, Scott washes blades.